Put your hands on the ground. This is South Ward Alderman Willis Thompson here at the Highest Community College Vicksburg campus. And today we're going to learn more about the CTE program that's offered to our students at the Vicksburg Warren School District. We're going to go inside the classrooms and we're going to see how hands-on our students are getting. We're going to find out what they're learning. We're going to talk to instructors and we're going to talk to our students and just see how much of this program has been beneficial to them here at Hines Community College and the Vicksburg One School District. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Hines. Thank you. CTE is um, growing here like nowhere else. I think that it would be great to have it. what we're doing next year with the Career Academy is trying to put CTE into the schools, I think that's a wonderful idea. It's an honor program, like you have to make the cut, but it's also about teaching you how to perform in life. Mm -hmm. So we are the, um, the largest growing campus that Heinz Community College has. But all students in the district at the high school level will be a part of that and they'll understand how um, the, uh, the career tech side fits into their, their academic courses. Right. In his history of being the president of Hines, he's never seen anything like this. I mean, it's kind of endless. The possibilities are endless. Okay. And that's what I like about it. She never has a dull moment. Yeah, right yeah. now, what you're seeing um, is the marketing, the business and marketing, CTE programming. And this is for our high school students. We have uh, students from both high schools here. And the instructor's name is Donna Cook. So, so what is your approach with the uh, students that you have? Where do you begin? When a student enters this classroom, of course, we work on human resources communication and teamwork. So what's the classifications of the students that you instruct? 10th, 11th, and 12th all mixed together in one class. 10th, 11th, 10th, 11th 12th grade. Associated with the program is called DECA and they participate in competitions in addition to internships and other job placement. I enjoyed it. it uh, I chose the human resources management section and uh, I found a lot of it had to do with ethics, something that my parents really drilled into me and so I had a little bit of a knack for it. Joseph has a a very ethical background. I just believe that as an employer's viewpoint, right. what do they want? And that's the product that I try to get from the students here. Um, in the CT course, it counts as an elective. Okay. Um, okay. If they sign up for dual enrollment, they can get high school credit and college credit. They can actually leave high school workforce ready. Mm -hmm. And how attractive is that to our employers? Right, right. Uh, they study in manual lays, hand tools, milling machines, uh, that kind of source. And they come back for their second year, they go in de detail with C and C. Okay. Learning G codes, axes, all that good stuff. Okay, so they actually get to use uh, equipment and learn how to operate it? That's yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Before they run the machine, it got it where you can draw the diagram out, see how you want it, uh -huh. how thick the piece is going to be, how long, and how what you want to engrave it on. And this machine does it all with the milling process. Jobs would, would require these kind of tools. As far as the industry, house, Caterpillar, mm -hmm. uh, market tool, e narrow space, everybody has gone C and C. So the second year programming with that machine will really help them out tremendously. Hey, Mr. Renfro. Hi, we're heading down to law enforcement next. What other uh, fundamentals will they be learning in this course? 
you learn all sorts of things. The first year is just law enforcement, and the second year is law is 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 a military and EMS, EMT. I mean, just just it's just all okay. sorts of different okay. different things. How has this program helped in just reaffirming that this is what I want to do? Yeah, it gives me a chance to see, like, make make sure this is exactly what I want to do. Give you a chance to experience and see what you're going into. We got to meet with actual police officers and firefighters and military personnel as also. We get to look at all that stuff, hands on. So it's it's a real deal. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Well, I mean, you can actually leave high school with job skills certificate in your hand, making good money. Mm -hmm. so. How you doing? What's the time? Today. All right, nice. They sanded all that down, had painted, finished it up. They did all the finishing on both of them. These two gentlemen here, we put it together and they finished it. So how did that process start? Somebody come and say, I want a desk built. What's the first thing you do? Uh, first we're going to ask where it wants to go in a room so we can get the dimensions, how wide it needs to be, how tall, how long. And then we'll uh, get a material list together, see what mm -hmm. we need, plywood, two by fours, trim, whichever. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to draw the blueprint. Okay shows how long everything is, what's going to look like, and we're going to cut out our pieces if need be, like with the legs there, we'll cut out the different shapes or whatever, okay. and we're going to put the sides together along with the top, get the basic frame, and then we put, we'll put the shelves on if they want it, put a little trim around it, yeah. and then we'll sand it, make it nice and smooth, put okay. some stain on it, put a coat of polyurethane on it, keeps it nice and shiny yeah. and scratch free. Yeah. After we got this built, I said, all right, fella, I said, back then it was rough, I said, y'all sand it, you're going to stain it, you're going to polyurethane thing. They filled all the nail holes, I just got away from them. Mm -hmm. That's the only way they're going to learn, turn them loose with them. Yeah, yeah. Right. And they had last year under Mr. Spears, and they were far enough advanced along to, to start doing this kind of stuff. Right. Got a lot of benefits. Right. Nice yeah. to meet y'all. Appreciate y'all right. coming. Our curriculum is really designed to do a lot of mechanical. Okay. Um, and that's where the robots come into play. We've implemented more civil because we have students that are more interested in that and because of Erdic's influence. Okay. Um, they've helped shape a lot of our curriculum as well as the materials that we have. Learn how to get the exact measurements, how to measure on the computer, and soon, sooner or later, uh, probably around next year, we be, we'll be able to make our robot on the computer and be able to uh, print it out, like the parts out for the robot. Uh, we've done several things. We started off the year working with the uh, Tetrix uh, robots. Then we uh, built onto that by using uh, the VEX robots uh, that came in. And then we started using CAD programs and using bridge design programs to enter in several competitions. Okay, sounds good. And we talk about things to do if it runs in your family what should you be doing now as a teenager? What eating habits, exercise habits, health habits should you try to adopt so that perhaps you can ward off having these things come you know, to a crisis? Um, but I think that's a, an important aspect of this program. Wow. Wow. Sounds very engaging. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Well, we start the first year off with safety, put a lot of emphasis on safety. Uh, you know, a lot of people expect, uh, well, I'm going to take well and I'm going to come in and all I'm going to do is weld and learn how to weld. But uh, the curriculum calls for safety, math, uh, blueprint reading. So how hands-on have you gotten? Oh, it's pretty hands-on. Yeah. It's, it's all... It's all thing. hands, yeah. it's pretty much. Mm -hmm. You're always well and always practicing, always getting drilled to make your weld better. Mm -hmm. You're always getting at it and don't stop. I plan for this program to help me out, get a job welding, and hopefully I better myself through this program whenever I start welding. Can you imagine leaving high school yeah. as a certified welder? Yeah, well, yeah, wow. What kind of careers a person who stay along this track or would be available to somebody that have some of these skill sets? Well, Erdic uses 3D yeah. modeling for their stuff. They do. Um, so they use the exact same programs that we use, actually. From software engineer all the way to the bank mm -hmm. software they use to web design right. and development and all that. My main uh, focus towards this class was the, the opportunities that it presented for me. 